Well, good to see you again. Your top line thoughts on what we're hearing about today. Well, I think the, the most significant thing is that we now have a search warrant for the home of Donald Trump. And that isn't something that is done lightly. If you go back in the common law, um, the, the main focus of the protection of the warrant was to protect the, the papers and property of people. And, and, and the home is the center of all of that. So this is going right to the heart of, of what our criminal laws uh, and, and, the, and the warrant requirement is designed to protect. This is not something they would think of doing um, with a former president, especially if they did not have incredibly significant indications of criminal conduct involved surrounding what's at, what's at issue. Now, I don't know anything about the specifics of what's in the warrant, but the very fact that they have now, in a sense, gone public, not in, a, not in an open way, but by doing what they're doing, serving a warrant and searching the home of the, of the former president, this is now utterly clear that this is an investigation focused significantly on Donald Trump. I have two new bits of reporting, Donald. It'll only take a second. Stay with me. The first comes from CNBC senior Washington correspondent Eamon Jabbers. He reached the Justice Department and officials are, are offering, quote, no comment. That said, CN uh, Ken Delanian, who's investigative reporter for NBC News, Justice Department correspondent for NBC News, reports the following. A person familiar with the matter tells NBC News, that the FBI is not disputing that it carried out the search. We're efforting further confirmation. Again, that from Ken Delanian. And more from the New York Times. Jonathan Martin from the New York Times, correspondent known well here, says, as, as of this afternoon, senior White House officials found out about the FBI's Mar-a-Lago raid on Twitter and had no notice per the source familiar. So the Justice Department is not pushing back on, on Donald Trump's general reporting that the FBI searched his home at Mar-a-Lago. I, I have no recollection of anything like this happening regarding any president or former president in my lifetime. No, no, there, there's not. And, and of course, the department's behavior here is precisely appropriate. They're not pushing back. They're not commenting. They're not making any announcements. They haven't, they haven't said a word, it sounds to me like, about this whole process. And that's exactly what they should be doing. Here we have Donald Trump wanting to tweet about the fact that his, his, his possible criminality is now the basis of, an, of, a, of a search of his home. You can't stop him from doing that, but the department is playing it straight, and they're doing exactly what they should. And anybody who has been worried that Mer Merrick Garland or that the Department of Justice is asleep at the switch ought to get over it right now because they are on the job, and this is a very big deal.